Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Sharice Johnson Moore here, your hope builder, lifting you out of your sorrow by guiding you to see the Christ within through scripture and practical applications. It is time, it is time, it is time, it's time for Think About It Sunday. And our topic is don't wait to the last minute to get set up for your next move. Don't wait until the last minute to set up for your next move. When it comes to your next project, it comes to your next venture, it comes to your next move, uh, say in your personal or your business life, don't wait until the last minute to set up for your next move. Now, let's get into this topic for the day. And, uh, you know, because I got a lot to talk about, okay? So, I will... You know, I, I will be talking in a few minutes. Okay, so come on, let's get busy. Hello, 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 everyone, and how are y'all doing today? It is another day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it, baby. Okay. Hi, my name is Sharice Johnson Moore, your hope builder, lifting you out of your sorrow by guiding you to see the Christ within through scripture and practical applications. It is time, it is time, it is time, it is time for Think About It Sunday. And our topic for today is don't wait until the last minute to settle for your next move. I want to say I want to thank everyone that has been watching, 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 watching my programs and supporting my podcast. And I want to say Thank you to everyone. Hello, my name is Sharice Johnson Moore, and welcome to Think About Sunday. Think About It Sunday is a program that is geared towards entrepreneurs, okay? Because I want to help you. I'm always, I'm always, I always want to help others improve in the ways that they can in their entrepreneurship journey. This topic was thought of with a conversation I was having with a client of a client of mine. And she wants to start a podcast. And so I asked, I asked the client, I asked my client, I said, so when do you want to start your podcast? That's we have to, you know, I've I've and she gave me her date, and I said, well, that's a couple of months from now, but we want to have everything ready in the aspect of um, from her newsletter to her um, placing um, about her podcast on her website and and things of that nature that pertain to her podcast. So the first thing, like I said, I asked her, I said, so um, what day you want to start? She gave me a date. I said, okay, that's time from now. And first, 
we have to write everything down that is needed for to create her podcast, right? And even though it may be, I say what you know, whatever time frame that she has, and um, I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to tell her, I said, come on, let's put this plan together. Let's write down everything that we need for the podcast, from your equipment to what your topics are going to be about. Are you going to put a newsletter out about your podcast? And you also want to have all the other aspects into play when it comes to creating a podcast. And then we got to do the marketing for the podcast, right? And we got to try to get a sponsor, sponsors for your podcast because that, that'll be good for um, for your uh, financial financial parts of, the, of a podcast. And I say, don't wait until the last minute because when you are getting ready to go into your next move, say your next project, whether it be a podcast, whether it be a book, whether it be um, a, a program or a course or something that you want to put together. It is very important that you do not wait until the last minute to do it because at the last minute, you got to rush. And who wants to rush to do something? Because when you rush, my grandma always say, when you rush, you're going to do something wrong, right? So I had to, um, you know, and I, and I, and my thing is, is that it's good to have everything together when you launch something new. And I say that because I have learned my lessons from my own mistakes when it comes to doing stuff at the last minute. And you might forget something. You might, um, you, you may forget to even like, you know, when it, I say when it comes, I'm going to give you this example. When it comes to a podcast, you have to turn around and you have to have, you have to give the podcast that you that you want to host your podcast all the information that you're going to need the title of your podcast, um, the focus of your podcast, how you're going to get paid from your podcast, okay, and how you're going to advertise your podcast. And it's very important that when you have these things set up, that you have your topics. If you're going to just do the audio that's you gotta have the audio equipment. You gotta have your microphone, you gotta have your interface lock, um, where I have my interface, my microphone and the headpiece hooked into it's a a module that hooks up to my computer. And you might want to buy your terabyte box. And uh, so you can put all of your recordings, all your recordings in an external hard drive. Tell you why that's important. Because you may want to repurpose your talking points again on another podcast. You can reuse them, repurpose them, re, you know, go back and, and take out pieces or you can, you know, uh, compose um, podcasts into different segments okay, to repurpose it. You may want to have guests on your show, of course, for a podcast. Um, or you can have it where you're doing a visual, like I'm sitting here recording this, like I record my programs. I record my programs uh, through StreamYard. And then I'll turn around and da- I can download the video and the art uh, stream y'all. You can download video or you can download audio, your audio from the video to create your podcast episodes. That's how I, that's how I do it. 
I'll sit, record, and, or do my live program. And after that, I download the audio from the video and then place it on my podcast. You can also do it that way where some people like to see the visual parts and some people just like to listen to the audio parts. And that's that's a good thing. That's a good thing because that's two sources of income. Okay. And sometimes... To be honest with you, from my standpoint of view, sometimes I get lazy. Sometimes I will get lazy or sometimes I don't feel good. And sometimes, sometimes you could take that video and replay it again in case somebody else, somebody has missed it. Now, my broadcast, the broadcast that I do, they go out. They go to my Facebook page. They go to my LBM Facebook page. They go to Twitter. They go to um, they go to YouTube, they go to um, my business page. All this goes out distrib- distributed to all of my social media network links. And it's good to have that because you never know who's watching. You never know who's watching you. You never know who may say, okay, all right, I want to call. I, I saw this video, this lady was talking, and um, I want to see if I can get her on my show. It's good for your exposure. And exposure means that you have exposure for your brand, exposure for your content, exposure, exposure, exposure. Plus that, that, that could lead to other opportunities for your business. Okay, and I do not wait until the last minute to find topics to talk about for my for my programs. And sometimes they sometimes the, the topics hit me, and sometimes they don't. You know, sometimes um, I was sitting here thinking about something from morning word and worship, or reading the word of God, and God that God says that's what you need to talk about on your show that's that's something that you need to bring forth the bring up bring forth the word with i mean the word of god to the people about and that is very important that you do not wait to the last minute to even find new topics to talk about don't wait till last minute because then you got to do the research and then that's something that you got to you got to got you got to make time for, you know, and put yourself on a schedule. If you have a project coming out, put yourself on a schedule. I learned this from my business coach. Okay, learn this from my business coach. She says schedule everything that you do because then you you will use your time wisely during the course of the day. Or however you want to work your schedule. You can work around things and you can schedule things. And and when you schedule, when you schedule things to sit down and do them, they come out much better. They come out much better. And you don't have all this rushed, this a rushing moment of I I gotta do this, I gotta do this, got oh my god, I gotta do this. No, if you plan it out, write it out what you need for your next project. And then you have a timetable of when you want that particular, like, number one. Number one, creating a newsletter, like a a newsletter head, like a newsletter head for your next month's newsletter, like I do. And I go ahead, and I got to go to Canva, and I got to make the letterhead um, banner, and then I got to put that on a Word document. Then I compose the newsletter, and then um, I, you know, put a date on it. Then I gotta pick the people I'm gonna send it out to, and things of that nature. And and it is a time time consuming process. And when I do it, when I do it in a meaning in a time sense manner of I gotta do this this day, I gotta do this this day this time have to do it this day, this time, and it has to be, and I always put an end date. A date is supposed to be finished. A date 
that you start and the date that you finish something that that spoke that is that correlates with your next move okay and when you move to the next step cross that out end date start date topic you know it has to it, it has to flow when you create your when you create your next move it has to flow and then everything when you're ready to launch what you want everything is marked off on the list and when it's time to launch everything falls into place you have to put yourself on a schedule for your next move it can't be done in a rush can't be done in a hurry it has to be thought out methodically theoretically you have to you know you have to and you and you don't procrastinate about it. That's not a good thing to do. Oh, I'll put it off for tomorrow. I'll do this tomorrow. I, 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 you know, I, I might, I might, I might do it tomorrow. No, no, because the more you put it off, the, the, the more you put it off, or you procrastinate about it, it'll turn around, and sometimes it may not even get done. Then you got to turn around and rush at the last minute. Say, say you made an announcement. Say, I'm about to launch a new product and it's going to be such and such such, right? Why would you tell somebody about a launch when you haven't even set up what you're going to do before you launch? That making sense? Okay. So, you may, you may, you may. Just take your time, get all your ducks, as my grandma said, get all your ducks in a row before you jump into the deep end. Then you'll know how to swim, okay? Take your swimming lesson, you know how you had to go a little kid, you had to go to the pool and get in the kitty in, you know, and the instructor will tell you how to swim, you know, give you them instructions, right? That is what the purpose of you uh, going in search of a business coach, a, a coach to help you in your journey to your next move. Write it out, make it plain, and put an end date to it. Okay. I'm not going to stay before you long, and don't wait until the last minute to set up for your next move. Because when you wait to the last minute, something is going to be forgotten or left out. And it probably it is, I, I, know from my, I know from my own experience, when you do not put things down in writing and put end dates to them, things will go haywire. They'll go haywire if you do not plan ahead and do not do the, the assignments that go along with uh, that do not, you know, that when you don't keep your assignments, it throws everything off. So, I love y'all, and if you don't have, you don't have these two books, you need to get them. Coming to Loving Yourself is a book about my life autobiography inspirational book i tell you the good bad and the ugly we all got a story to tell okay so you know get it you can go on my website at www.shereceandjohnsonmoore.com and you can purchase the book or you can purchase the um workbook this is the workbook that goes with it it says coming to love yourself study guide to Building your self-worth. This was created for the sole purpose of helping you get back to the things that you love and cherish. And you can buy them separately or you can buy them together. The set is $40. Okay, the set is $40. The book is $20. This is $25. This is $20. This is $25. You buy them together, get a discount. $40. Okay. So um, I also have T-shirts, my T-shirts, and my website is also up and running. So if you want to go check it out, 
you can www.sharicenjohnsonmore.com where you can um you can you can go look around and see if you like anything you want to purchase hey i got some new items coming out too but uh i will let you know about that you know i will let you know about that okay got some new stuff coming so be on the lookout for that um i wanted to say all my business entrepreneurs Okay, entrepreneurs on what you, whatever your business is, you can also make you a commercial for your business. Make a commercial, a little short one, two video about your business, and you can bring it on over here to me, and I will work it out for you that you can advertise on my streaming channel, channel LBM TV. And I wanted to let y'all know that I have advertising spots for my streaming channel and the podcast. The podcast on the po- podcast is $25 for a 60 second advertisement. 60 seconds. That's one minute. Okay. And it's not it's nothing but $25 for the advertisement on the podcast. Okay. I want to let y'all know that. I love you, and I am in the, you know, you, you got you to gotta open your heart and your spirit to teach others. I'm always opening my heart to teach others about things that they need to do, okay? So, I want to say thank you for coming in again for Think About It Sunday. Don't wait until the last minute to set up your for your next move okay i love y'all and y'all have a blessed day all right babies Everyone and welcome to LBM TV. I am Sharice Johnson Moore, owner and CEO of LBM TV. Here at LBM TV, our objective is to give you programming that will invigorate, motivate, and inspire you. Our programming will provide you with insight, in-depth knowledge, and solutions in your daily living. We can be seen on every smart TV, smartphone globally. We're located on C1 Media Smart TV app, Apple TV, Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, and Google TV. So get ready to enjoy a positive, uplifting program for your daily living here at LBM TV, where we care about you. Thank you.